hey guys how you guys doing welcome back to the channel today what we're going to take a look at this is going to be uh, part one of a two-part video and what it's going to be is installing ubuntu server 22.04 lts and then installing a next cloud instance on that so that you can serve your own cloud at home in a secure environment where you're not at risk to be targeted for hacking as some of the major you know sites empty hearts and neon lights the play with my mind gotta get out of it tonight it's like you know google one drive um you know all these all these other cloud services out there that that provide you with the service of hosting your personal files or even you know company files or you know group files um, but yet because millions of people go to those sites and use those sites they're at a much more increased risk of hacking because hackers know that they will get a treasure trove of information from those sites if they successfully hack it versus trying to go after every individual out there on the internet it's a lot less work with a lot more bang for their work for their for their efforts so anyhow let's go ahead and dive into that and so now we have it going and um it, it's going through the boot process of the iso i downloaded it from ubuntu.com the server edition Okay, and so this is their installer. Uh, it's very similar to the old Incurses, only it's a little bit more cleaner and neater. To go up and down, uh, you use your up and down arrows, right? And uh, to move fields, you use your tab button. And to select, you hit space or enter. So I'm going to use English. I'm going to, I'm going to well, the updating takes a long time, so I'm gonna continue without updating. And we could update later once you log into your your server. So um, right now, uh, if I tab, see I'm at the help up at the top. So now English is, is this is where you can change out your layout and your language, right? For your or, or for your keyboard uh, configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on English. I'm going to hit done. So we're going to do Ubuntu server. I'm just going to select the default here and hit done. And it's right now what it's doing is it is um, resolving our DNS. So um, don't worry, this this IP address won't really be around because this virtual machine will be deleted. So um, this IP address that it has is not going to be correct, and it'll be gone. So I'm not too worried about that. And so now we're going to go ahead and hit done. And then if you're going to use a proxy address, uh, this would be the time when you would enter it. But I don't use any proxy, so I'm going to keep it like this. Um, we're going to definitely use this mirror address, so I'm going to hit done. And we're going to use the entire disk. Otherwise, you can go down to the custom. As you see, I'll bring it down there, see where the cursor's at. On the custom storage layout, this is where you could hit space to select it, hit enter, and then you could start doing it as you would for... Um, uh, like using uh, 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 G parted, but we're we're going to leave it as the whole disk. I'm going to hit done, and this is my summary of what's going to happen. And we're going to hit done, and then we're going to tab down to continue, and because I just want to make sure that we're going to, you know, delete the entire hard drive, format it, and install Ubuntu Server on it. And yes, that's what I want to do. So here we go. So now this is where you give it a name. So we're gonna do test, right? But this would be where you would wanna give it like um, Alex, you know, cloud or whatever you wanna name it as. So I'm gonna hit tab. Um, the server's name is going to be test. Dot, no, you know what, let's do it this way. Next. Dang, I can't spell. 
dot test dot cloud now this is important well, i forgot the dot there now this is important you're going to want to give it a name uh similar to what what you're going to name the instance as you know uh which for me i'm going to do it uh next cloud dot test dot cloud um then i'm going to pick a username so i'm going to just insert alex for now and then i'm going to give it a very strong password and then we're going to confirm that password and then we're going to hit done um we could open we can install open ssh if you want um but for the sake of this i'm just going to keep it short and i'm not going to do that now all these are softwares that that are already at your fingertips to install um that ubuntu makes available to you uh you can install the next cloud here but i don't want to do that i would rather do it the the other way that i'm going to show you which is a uh, i got from the information from a blog post which is fantastic it's great um and so we're gonna we're gonna follow those instructions so anyhow i'm not gonna install anything except for what the server installs of its own i don't need to install anything else here uh other than the user. Um, so I'm not gonna install a Docker, I'm not gonna install any containers, I'm not gonna install anything. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep it just basically, you know, minimal as, as we can here. So let's go ahead and hit done. And now it's doing its thing and it's installing. When it is done, I will resume the video. Okay, so it has finally, finished doing its install it also did its updates on everything new and uh, that took a roughly around 15 minutes so now what we're going to do is we're going to reboot now and let's see what happens i'll go ahead and uh, reboot it and uh, resume the video when uh, it's completely uh when it's starting to boot back in all right we're getting ready to boot right into it so it's loading into its first thing. Now understand that, that Linux, uh, Ubuntu server, any actual Linux server is just, this is bare, this has nothing. It doesn't have X installed. It doesn't have any desktop environment installed. It doesn't have anything. It's basically a framework for you to build upon, really is what it is. And so that's, that's what we're doing. So it does, and it loads all these um, SSH host keys here and all this stuff. This will all be gone. So I'm not worried about people having this information because I'm going to delete this server when I'm done making these videos. And then after that, I'll do it on a box that I have here um, that I'm going to throw it on and I'm going to connect it to my internet. And I'm going to point my domain to it that, I, that I've gotten from DuckDNS. And uh, we'll go and, and have it all secure that way and nobody will know anything of what it is. So th like I said, I'm not worried about any of these keys or any of these IP addresses being exposed to the public because it's gonna be gone in a matter of days. So uh, not even days, probably. By the time this video drops, it'll more than likely be gone. So um, no, it will be gone actually. Yeah, it'll be gone. Uh, so anyhow, so this is what it boots into. You get just this prompt right here. As you notice at the bottom after the last line, cloud is init. It's initted, so it's using its fallback data sources because there's no data server on here. There's nothing on here, you know, um, at all. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to hit enter, and now it's going to want you to log in. So now you're going to give it your username and your password to log in and so now you are completely logged in and set up to install whatever it is that you want to build if you want to do a media server you can install that if you want to do a next cloud server you can do that if you want to do a web page server which is basically you know it's apache and apache is what you use as well for um 
your actual uh, Nextcloud instance too to serve out Nextcloud. But but at any instance, you know, y y you can do that too. You can do whatever you want with this box. You can do multiple things at the same time with this box. You know, once you build this this server, right? So now that we have all that installed, this is what you have. You have no desktop environment, nothing. Now, for some people, that is fine to to not have any kind of uh, desktop environment. They know command, and they could zoom around and do whatever they need to do. Now, I am not a server genius by any means. I'm very basic when it comes to using servers. Uh, I cannot hold a job being a a a a, a maintainer. Uh, for servers or anything like that at least I don't feel I can but at any instance this is really what what you're looking at now uh, I find it that it's easier and most of my people that are wanting to do this are going to find that it's easier to actually install a desktop environment onto here but I would suggest that you do something very minimal and they do exist so that's what we're going to do for this part of the video because we're technically done installing the ubuntu 22.04 lts server so now what we're going to do is we're going to install a desktop and so we'll go ahead and start doing that here in just a sec okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install an actual uh display manager now there's two that you could install you could install slim display manager or you can install light dm so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install light dm because that's what i'm most comfortable with sudo apt install and then light dm those are the that's the the command we're going to execute here and we're going to put in our password and we're going to go ahead and let it do that and now it's downloading everything that's going to need this is going to install the light dm as well as the xorg server all that good stuff for your display manager so now we're going to let it do its thing and when it's done then we'll uh resume the video again Okay, so it popped up and it's given me this question. Uh, Display Manager is a program that provides graphical logging capabilities. Okay, and I have two to choose from here. Uh, I could choose from the GDM3, which is the GNOME version, and then the Light DM. I'm going to choose Light DM uh, for the one that I want. And then I'm going to tab down to OK. I'm going to hit Enter, and it's going to continue to install. Okay, so it is done installing as you can see and now we have to choose which desktop we want to install You have plasma that's available to you XFCE. You have mate. You have LXDE um, Available, so I think I want to do just to keep it simple and keep it, you know I could do either XFCE or mate. I'm gonna go ahead and do um, Mate because I haven't done mate in forever. So it's gonna be sudo oops hang on sudo apt install and it's going to be ubuntu ubuntu dash mate dash desktop that's it oh get rid of the bracket and then you hit enter and it's going to want to install all these dependencies it's going to install the complete desktop i'm going to hit yes to it I mean, XFCE would have been just a little bit lighter, I think, but not by much. Um, and I just, like I said, I haven't played with Mate in forever, so I just go ahead and install that. Um, I'll have a link to the instructions uh, the, where I got this from uh, for you guys to be able to look it up and follow it should you have not been able to copy or pause the video long enough or whatever to get type that command that command in so anyhow when this is done i'll resume again okay now because um because it um has uh installed a, a bunch of stuff it wants to know what services that it needs to be restarted uh and I'm just going to leave it as a default selections that are already made there. And I am going to, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, network service manager should be one. Uh, then we're going to hit okay. And it's going to do its thing. 
it's restarting all those now it's ready to do this so now when that everything's installed we have our display manager installed we have our um desktop environment installed uh now we're going to go ahead and reboot the machine to log in sorry can't type and so now we hit enter and now we're going to reboot we're going to let it do its thing it's going to reboot and we should go right back into our uh you'll see it switch over into x right here there it just switched into x and then now we're going to go into our display manager and here we are and so we're going to hit one two our password and there we go and so now this is it we actually have our full desktop environment as you can see we'll go to preferences we're going to go to displays we're going to make this a 19 20 by 1080 so it looks beautiful and now for people um i mean some people will say that that applying a desktop environment sorry uh, applying a desktop environment to uh, a server is sacrilege and in many ways i agree it is because it allows for a lot more exploits for keeping a server secure uh but the reality of it is and also more things that could go wrong and crash and all this kind of stuff and you know get updated wrong or whatever and break dependencies and stuff like that but for the for the new to linux users which is what i, I want to do this for or people who have never played around with the server it's a lot easier to do things in a graphical environment especially when you're going to not really know a lot of these commands and you're going to be forced to kind of rely on copying and pasting um from where you're reading and disseminating things from and also from the blog post that i'm going to give a link to in the description to be able to set up the next cloud instance you're going to need to copy and paste some commands because a couple of these commands are going to be quite lengthy so at, at that instance um that's why i wanted to install this desktop environment so people could do that and they could follow along and do this at home by themselves and be a winner winner chicken dinner at it you know what i mean so anyhow that is it for the video today what we've done today is we've installed ubuntu server 22.04 lts uh display manager into it and actually a, a desktop environment into it like i said you could have went with plasma you could have went with the traditional ubuntu uh desktop which is actually a gnome variant and uh, xfce and uh, lxde i believe was the other choice uh in fact let me go look and yes lxde is the other choice uh, i will leave a link in the description to the page uh that you can go to the web page you can go to for the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the display manager uh as well as the desktop environment if you like what i've installed just simply follow the commands that i did in the video um just pause it and get that typed into your terminal and do what you do uh either way guys uh please don't be afraid to uh comment on this uh like it please it helps me out in the youtube algorithm also uh if you have any um pointers that i may have left out please go ahead and comment that down below and as always i ask of you guys to simply do what you guys do Stay safe and keep on Linuxing and have a great day. An empty heart